close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Just hold it. Face it this way. I think it's a little one. Oh yeah, it's a really small one. Yep. Guys, here's the big bullhead I just caught. I don't know if I, the GoPro was recording because it said connection lost. But I reeled it in on camera and stuff. He is pretty big. He's fat, nice and fat. This is probably the biggest bullhead I've ever caught. I thought I might have had like a small bass on or something by accident. Guys, I barely hooked them. Here, I'll show you. It was just in the corner of the mouth. Here he is. Chunky guy. He's going in the basket. We got another one. This one's a little bit smaller than that really big one, but it's still a really nice one to keep. So I'm just going to throw this one in the basket and then I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we're filleting them up. So this is the bullhead I just cut up. This is the meat I got. I just wanted, I didn't record this one because I wanted to practice on it. So I knew what to do. So now I have a better understanding of like what to do. So hopefully the next ones I'll get a little bit more meat on. So this bluegill's kind of, or er, this bullhead's kind of small, but I'm pretty sure it's dead already. It just slit all around the sides. So now, grab the skin. So once you get a good grip, you just pull it. And then you're going to have to do this a couple of times. And it works if you have like a better grip on it. So just try to get a really good grip on the skin. And then just pull. The farther down you get, the easier it is because of all the extra skin that you have to grab. So yeah, this is a definitely the hardest part. It's just like a catfish, only a lot smaller. So there you go. Just peel this little bit of tail back. And there you go. From this part, from here, you just have to fillet it like a regular fish. I like to start right behind this top fin, go down to the spine, and you got your gut wall here.
continue all the way down. And there's your piece of meat. So you do your other side. I'm gonna go a little farther back so I can get that extra meat. So this is the this is what you need. I just put the fish in a bowl of cold water. I got the my breading, an egg that you're gonna have to mix up, and then whatever kind of oil you want. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And I So guys, the reason I wanted to make this video was because today is the last day that um, we're having the pier because we're going to be taking out the pier today because it's getting colder out. So yeah, I just wanted to make a bullheading video last night. Here's the meat. I'm going to be trying it. So yeah, it, it was like really cold last night. It was like 35 degrees. So here's a little piece of the bullhead. I'm just going to be giving you my opinion. Okay, you think it'd be like harder, like you think it'd be like a tougher meat, but it's actually not, it's really soft. And it is kind of slimy though, I have to admit that. But yeah, the meat is really slimy, so that's the only downside to it, but here's a piece with like hardly any breading on, so yeah, I got a lot of the meat off of it, but... Yeah, overall, it seemed a lot harder to, like, skin it than it actually was. It did take me, like, 20 minutes, but that's because it was, like, my first time. Next time I do this, it'll, it'll probably only take me, like, 5 to 10 minutes. But, yeah, this is a good way to get some food because there's, like, probably, like, 30% of the population in this lake is, like, bullhead. So, they're all over. So, yeah, it wasn't that hard. It, and it was really fun. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like the video. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe and hit the bell notification. So, yeah, see you guys on the next video.